Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Empire. Last episode we discovered some very, very dangerous information. We found out that Rose is actually innocent. She was just a full guy. We came clean to North and North was like, whoa, 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 this is gonna get you killed. You need to lay low. So he sent us off to this um, this town, which has this little bar and it's, love the music here. Uh, so we came in here, we've got to meet Demetrius, who is the gym leader and apparently he is a fighting type. And um, for that reason, I've put on Sword Blue. So I've actually shown it because fairy flying for a fighting type gym, it's gonna be um, pretty poggers. <laughs> we also gonna rescue some, um, well this girl right here, from some uh, very annoying, stupid officers, and uh, they ran away. So now we need to leave and go speak to Demetrius, because I think we have to help around the town, do some hard, honest work. Listen up. I've got some other league challenges heading over to my ranch in the noble fields. I figured the best way for you to blend in and not attract attention would be to fall in line with the rest of them. My ranch is out in the noble fields, go as far west as you can, then head uh, due north. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Hmm. If my intuition's right, I'd reckon you'd had a word with Shay before you left. Uh, I did not. Hmm. Just remember, Maya's Ranch, Noble Fields, West, the North. Alrighty then, tips hat. <laughs> uh, I really wish, like, I could have a really cool, like, sort of cowboy hat. Like, if I were around here, where I live, I would just get stares like, what are you doing? Like, I want to live in a place where cowboy hats are just, just the norm and go around, just tip my hat to people. Let's go speak to her, now she's actually sitting here. Hey again, so uh, yeah, hi. No, the great Major Demetrius Myers isn't my dad. My dad was a uh, chaplain. I guess the two of them spent a lot of time together during the war though. Uh, yeah, he's the leader of the whole province now. I still remember him as Sheriff Myers though. Kind of weird for me. Honestly, he gets on my nerves. I guess most people do, really. Everyone's always bending over backwards, doing over me or trying to protect me. Like people get this look in their eye and when they're around me and you don't have that. <laughs> I'm not even trying to explain this, I sound ridiculous. But yeah, trust me, those guys from Origen that were in here, it's not what you think was going to happen. And look, I appreciate you stepping in like you did. That was very selfless of you, but... Oh crap, I lost track of time. Need to get back at work. Here, work at the orphanage to the east. Of town, it's in the ignoble fields. Feel free to stop by later. I guess I owe you an explanation for all this uh, silly sound stuff I'm spewing. So here, you can have this. Ooh, got a sweetheart, thank you. Uh, the barkeep, Mr. Wallace, always throws one of these in for free every time I stop in. Like I said, it's just aggravatingly sweet. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it was nice meeting you, Jasmine. Hope to see you later. Bye. So from what I can gather, she doesn't... Oh, I don't want to go up here, but... The game kind of, like, made me go up here a little bit when I went too close. Like... That was weird. I'm oh, sorry I didn't press right, but... I guess we can always go up here and check. Um, I guess she doesn't want to be, like, the damsel in the dress I'm guessing she wants to be like you know independent strong and she can't show that if like you know someone like us keeps running in all the time but there is a um, lovely item right there someone has got their education and how they started their lives here and I'm not saying there wasn't no exploitation or nothing because that's always gonna happen with just everything when the Yoaki that came over put Tilly and values first nobody had any problems I mean, can you imagine a full-fledged Yoaki tribe in the Harvest City I mean, how would you even police that? Reckon that's the difference between uh, Tilly and the Yoaki relations then and now. After Zane promised citizenship for the Yoakis helping win in the war. I mean, that's such a massive influx in Starlight now. For like that many people that quickly, it'd be impossible to try and smooth out that much culture shock. What we got? Green tea powder? An evolution? Evolution pocket, okay. So this is used to evolve something. Import from the Kanto region loved by certain Pokemon. Okay. Hmm. Import from the Kanto region, interesting. Right, so we need to head to Demetrius, but we also need to head... Actually, let's go heal up first. Wait, do we heal up? Yeah, we did. Okay, cool. Let's go to the east and we can find the orphanage and see if she can explain herself a little bit better. It's a, it's a big field, isn't it? Oh, this is massive. What's this? Can't even walk out. So we need to make sure this way is safe before letting folks go back through it again. Take care now. Okay. Ooh, Pugina. Nice. Um, got a ninjas. Can we maybe capture this? 
Oh, we can. Oh, no, we can't. It's a, it's a battle. Oh, man. Not gonna lie, it's a little disappointing. <laughs> We've got decisive. Not sure what decisive does. Need to read the um, the field effects notes before we take on the gym leaders. I'm assuming this, this field effect is going to be the gym leaders field. Right. Um, probably best to start training up Pidgeotto, actually. A nice flying type ready for them fighting types. But I just know, like, games like this, they always have, they expect players like me to go, oh, okay, fighting type, weak to, you know, flying. Let's have some, you know, strategies to beat flying types so I can't just come in win willy nilly. Nice. Level 26. I wonder what the level cap is. It's got to be 30, right? Guess we can go into Chimera. Flame Wheel. This music is very familiar. Like, it's been another fan game I played, I'm pretty sure. Like a version of it at least. Just can't remember what it's from. I'm gonna get healed up. And then we'll have a look for this orphanage. This place seems so big. So big. Right, $40, not too bad, not too bad. It's getting more expensive. It was like, what, 20 before? Oh, the Pokemon has been destroyed. Is that a... No, I thought it was like an item. Oh, you look very... Um, suspicious. Or like... You know, uh, you look like a, a proper character, not just... A random NPC. Yo, what's up? Oh, it's Rose! Embrace true freedom, true individuality, the price of their safety was slavery. So what are you? Just a slave to a larger system? Do you ever question who made the laws you follow so unquestionably? Oh, what? It was a Miss Magius, okay. Oh, there's an item there as well. Huh. See, I want a free rose. I I, I like rose. I mean, yeah, got off, the, on the, got, got off on the wrong foot. She stole our money, but... I don't know, she's been a pretty cool character, and the fact that she, uh, she's getting framed, I don't, I don't like it. If I can, wait, what place is this? This is the farms. If I can save her, I'm definitely going to try. How far can we actually go down? That's a big salazzle. There's lots of salads and salazzles around here. Got some... Grumpigs. I'm guessing we can't go in there unless we can take you out. Let's try. Wish I could capture him. That'd be uh, pretty sweet. With a nasty plot, that's fine. I'm doing the confusion right now for that water pulse. That'd be insane. No confusion. Ah, oh, sucks. Just want to try to scrub a little bit. I'm going to keep using Pidgeotto just to train up as much as possible. Oh, what? It's level 33 though. Okay, that's probably why you one-shot me. Um, This is bad. This is bad. Are you just going to, like, destroy my whole team now? You are, aren't you? One nasty plot and you're just... Unbeatable. Wow. Okie dokie, this is uh, this is not good. <laughs> that sucks. Salazzle is um, too strong. Way too strong. Oh, okay, it's pretty sunny now. We got a battle. Down for a battle. Oh, double. I love double and uh, sprite form. I think it looks really sweet. Use it. Okay, I'm liking this. Put defense up, okie dokie. Gonna go for a sky pickup. You got a crit. I hate to see it, but. That was like no damage, okay. It's fine. Alright, I'm gonna go for a metal sound. Cause 
it down a bit. Protect. It's gonna keep going for rollout. This is bad. This is really bad. The best I can do is just keep Sky uppercutting and then protect to reset the rollout so you don't do as much damage. That's the, that's the best I can do. And bring out a physical attacker after. If I. Well, I'm gonna die, there's no way I beat this unless I get super lucky. Oh, okay. Oh, we just lived! Ooh. So in this battlefield, when you're on the brink, you get HP back. That's pretty cool. Ah, oh, I've got a fight's way. So it's got a fight's way out, so that means it can't be used here. So I guess when you're on the brink, you have to fight your way out. You, that's, that's what it means. You can't just do anything else, which kind of sucks. I mean, it's kind of cool, but kind of sucks for us. Um, I'm going to go Chimera, just in case. You, yeah. Poison point. Wow. Okay, you know that HP back. Are we seriously going to lose? I feel like we might lose. Well, that's just going to... Well, that's gonna sweep everyone. This double, man. These battles are tough. Oh. All right, got the sing off. Guess I gotta switch. I think I wake up next turn, right? No, it's next turn you wake up. Oh, you're weak to. Oh, because you're a um, normal type, aren't you? Of course, you're weak to a uh, psychic. There we go. Oh, wow. That double was a monster. Oh, no. Are you kidding me, dude? You beat one Pokemon rollout, and then you get another one. It's like nothing I can really do. It's going to end up, yeah, getting one shot. I might just go straight to Demetrius then. And we can maybe... Let's see what we can do, because like, I can't win these battles at the moment. Double win. No tank, just... Seriously. Way too strong. So he said west and north, right? I'm gonna go to the orphanage after. Got yellow shards, sweet. What kind of Pokemon can we find around here? Raditza? Hmm. I'm gonna take it out for the XP. the burn nice you love to see it let's go to level 19 cool oh you want to battle sweet i so want to battle oh we got yamp oh we can run a yampa that could be good for the team actually don't flinch good all right got stamina that's kind of cool Critical hit. Ah, oh, you'll love to see it. Uh, let's go Dragon Breath. Got the burn. So sweet. I'm going to switch so I don't fancy dying. And you're pursuing. Again. And you got Moxie. But you burnt, so it's all good. <sighs> Woo. Burn, finish it off. Gossifleur. So I think flying types are weakened here. Is that what it said for this? Oh yeah, I think flying types are slightly weaker. So it might be best to go like lock on then air cutter. Because I'm not sure if the crit bypasses the field effects. I feel like it does. I hope so. Back here, though, so we can't go through here. Um, <laughs> need to double check where he said again. I swear he said like west and north. But we can't really go west, can we? Oh no, we can. I think we can go past the train. Like a church here? Oh, it's locked. Oh, these are doors. Okay, I'm not sure these are doors or not. Around here, what goes around comes around. That's a good Justin Timberlake song. <laughs> uh, help, help people out and we'll help you out too.
I'll try. I was uh, thinking about helping out that girl Cheyenne at the orphanage. Poor thing's too cute and ambitious to be feeling so tied, tied down here. Don't blame Demetrius for never taking his eyes off her though. Sweet girls like her are the easy to take advantage of. Aww. I'm sure she'd love to visit Starlight and make a name for herself. Love to see what happened to that rose girl on the news. Can't help but think the big city would eat her alive. Poor Rose. Ooh. I can music here. Ooh, coffee! Capricorn coffee, what you got? Chris's movement speed? That's kind of cool. I want to try this. I'm guessing because this area is so big, we have a lot to cover. Um, just want to give this a go. <laughs> oh, this is kind of cool. Let's go in here. Oh, Daisy, we're going to be the richest folks in Illyria. We could finally end up with more acreage than Demetrius. Might even buy another tractor. Clear this off her, uh, Farin. What have you gotten us into this time? Next uh, harvest is still a month away. I've been growing a patch of magical cucumbers next to the other crops. Bought them from a traveling fisherman last month. Cost a pretty penny, but look, just harvested my first one today. Uh, Cletus, where'd you say you bought those cucumbers? From a fisherman. He was traveling up to Calvera from down south. He seemed decent enough. Oh dear. You have the heart of a pyro, but the brains of a pidgey, Cletus. He obviously scammed you. Those aren't magic cucumbers. They're a sea cucumber Pokemon. Have you ever seen a Pukumuku before? Not even a vegetable. They're like a slug or something. A puka what now? Well, hopefully they taste good because we're gonna need money for food. Oh look, Daisy, our first customer. What perfect timing. Howdy, partner. As you may have uh, just heard, I've got me here some magical cucumbers. Slayers of legendary beasts and ripe for a delicious feast. Yeah, I honestly don't know what in tarnation these things are, but I do know I'll give you a fair shake for them. 1,500 a pop. They're fresh than fine linens off the line. Organic too. Let me know if you're interested, because I've got plenty. 1,200? G... Yeah, I'll take one. Hey. Just in case Pukumuku's good for the team. I don't know if it's going to be good, but... Um, yeah. Could, could be helpful later on. Might not, who knows. But let's go and uh, grab that. Got some damp mulch. Oh, there's a... <laughs> you can get the whole batch. <laughs> Imagine taking all of them. <gasps> oh, Wooloo. I would not actually mind a Wooloo if I can capture this. Please let me capture it. Nice. Okay, so not a battle, which is good. I feel like we can just capture it pretty easy with a Pokeball. No! I haven't seen a Mart in this place as well, so I might have to like... Travel out of town to get some balls if I need to. But I'll take it, I'll take it. I'll Wooloo. Don't think it's going to be helpful for the next gym, obviously, but... In the future, might be good. Red Shard. Oh, here we go. Found it. Let's get right down to business. This here province is the bread breadbasket of Telius. And you can't reshape a region if everyone's gone hungry. Problem is, we've been short-handed since the war. Even if the drought haven't been nearly as bad now, those damn royals are torched and stone so many fields that some won't even hold potatoes anymore. Let alone the wheat and corn this region needs from us to survive. Hmm. So to fix our long-term problem, we need to make... Uh, Atria, an appealing place to live again. As I'm sure you've noticed, our general store and many of the structures in town have been out of commission since the war. So, I need you all to gather support and funding. With enough manpower and resources, we can finish mending the last of Royale's scars on our beautiful land. Speak to any of the good folk outside uh, Atria. I'm sure they have something they need taken care of. And some tasks may be too large or cumbersome to accomplish alone. Remember to work together. Should be plenty of work to go around. Hmm. Any questions? Look, I'm all for helping rebuild a store if that's what it takes to get a badge. I'd prefer to go it alone. Group work ain't my style. Son, you have been part of a cavalry charge? If one man breaks rank, it could mean the death of every man in that unit. Difference here is your run you runs have the benefit of making mistakes without getting your limbs blown off. 
And if any of you want my badge and my respect, you're gonna learn to work as a team. The council doesn't need anyone who can't even follow basic orders. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Good. Now then, gather funds and support for rebuilding uh, Atria. Everyone you talk to should be willing to help. They may just need a little push. I reckon most folk will have something for you to do that would appreciate enough to lend some support to Yaz, thanks. Hmm. Now I'll be doing my part as well, and if anything comes up, just come on back up around these parts. Otherwise, just work diligently. When I have what we need, I'll let you all know. Alrighty then, best of luck to everyone. Okie dokie. So we have to go around helping the, uh... Little area. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna... Explore a little bit, and see if we can find someone who needs help. Got a Wooloo, which we don't need anymore. Ooh, we got a Lavitar. Hello, little guy, brought you some water. Ah, there it goes again. Oh, hey there. This Lavatar is my dad's. It really likes eating the soil from our yard. Ugh, <laughs> but my dad always just yells at it. See, he had a Tyranitar for, for, well, probably longer than I've been alive. He had it bred a while ago because it was getting up there in age. And well, it passed away during the war. Rials tried capturing it to use for themselves, but... I'm sorry, I can't talk about it. it. Makes me cry even thinking about it. If you ever have a pet that was your best friend, that loved you so intensely that... I've been there, man. For my dad, his drinking has been worse lately, and with him so focused on the farm and the business and everything... Look, I'm not much of a trainer, and seeing this love attack just breaks my heart. My dad treats it like crap, and I feel like it's just trying to overcompensate to get his attention and earn his love and trust. It's not just healthy. Anyways, the little guy keeps trying to play hide and seek, scurrying off all over the province. I'll try to go find it, but it's kind of dangerous for me to just go wandering off across uh, Iria. Um, I'm afraid one day I'm just scurry off and not come back. Or that wild Pokemon or poachers will try and nab it. Hey, maybe you can find it. If it finds a trainer it can trust, it will be much rather see it find someone who will love and care for it like it deserves. Okay, so we find this lovely tile, we, uh, we get it. Not sure where we want to really begin. So let's go into this house here. I'm guessing we can probably speak to the dad. Hello, Mr. Walsh. Now, unless you're here to discuss business, I haven't much to say to you. Fair play. Hello there, sweetheart. I oh, don't mind my husband. He's just been obsessing over the business lately. Over his alcoholic intake. <laughs> but never mind if his breath smells like whiskey. He's a good man. He's just a little compulsive, is all. Alright. Um. Go into this house. Nope. Yo, what's up? Yeah, baby face rich kid, eh? Makes a good cover. Gotta admit. Did not expect something someone like you to be run and shine? Ooh. Okay. Now listen up. Your boss wants to know why the price uh, point keeps going up. Oh, well, tell him he should know how the council's clamping down on the interprovincial uh, trade with their new chap tariffs. The economic guy, Jaegers, got them all convinced it wasn't enough government tariffs that allowed all of them monopolies under Tobias. But back to business. I have two clients I need you to deliver packages to. Don't care what order you do them. First one is some wannabe poet that's... Um, oh, we have to go leave the, the place? Shacked up in Calvera Cove. Okay, so let me write this down. So, Calvera Cove. The other owns a shop in Polaris... Point. Okay. Right, but he always pays up and more importantly pays well. Oh come on now, off you go and try not to get caught. Those NIA agents could be around any corner. Okie dokie. Right. Uh oh. Don't wanna run how we wanna um Seriously, you're not gonna let me run away? You want a Yamper? Ah, oh, you want a battle? Please don't be too tough. Got level 35 months, Dale! I'm not ready for this! Come on, man! I'm really not ready for this. We can get lucky and just. Can't perish song. Can't get Sing off. I think there's probably poison point then right now. Paralyze, sweet. Critical hit, but no burn. Oh no, we did get the burn. Sweet, that actually helps. Very right, nice. I mean, we're gonna lose. 
Not really much we can do, but... Unless Pidgeotto can... be pretty poggers. Let's go to Swift, get a critical hit. One more. Doesn't matter. Can we live? Actually, we just go protect ones, can't we? And we'll go for one outcry. Got paralyzed, so we and your drink gives you HP back. That sucks, and stamina puts you up. Oh, I got paralyzed, of course. <laughs> this is so annoying. I can't use status moves now as well. I hate this whole Brink thing, it's so lame. Because it can't just stall. Oh, I don't want to battle some of these people, I just want to find things to do. Don't want to battle you, because you're annoying. Um, do you need some help? This used to be my home, was raised here, just like my pappy and his pappy before him. Went north with my family until this war was over. But now that I'm back, my house is a damn ruin. I ain't asking for handouts or nothing, but what people like me are supposed to do now. I can try and help, but... Um... Oh, it's locked. I'm not sure where, where I want to go. Or where I need to go. Uh, I just want to find people who needs help. You guys need help or... no? Nope. Oh! Step back, citizen. These men are dangerous. You're no longer welcome in Atria. Turn back now or suffer the consequences. Oh, tough talk from somebody outnumbered two to one. No, I don't think so. Hey, looks to me like the numbers are all evened up. You guys are just going to get in the way. Stand clear and let us operate. Run, get out of here. Go alert Major Demetrius Myers. He's in the northeast estate in the noble fields. You council folk mean well, but you're so darn prideful. Come on, Jasmine. We'll take the two in the middle. Ha, <laughs> looks, like looks like it's our lucky day, boys. We'll take your money. We'll take your Pokemon. Take your whole damn town. Let's go! <laughs> Alright. Hopefully not too tough. Alright. Uh, let's go Dragon Breath. Although it seems ground types are very good here. I probably should work on a ground type Pokemon then. I think Swablu's going to get the XP. Breaks protection dealing with when it does. Look at that. Uh, let's go Pidgeotto. I want Pidgeotto to get the experience. Gonna go a lock on. It's all good, it's all good. Alright, I'm gonna go air cutter. A lot of damage. That's probably best to go swift, honestly. Please me. Oh, wait, no, that, okay, cool. I thought that was them going for Rock Tomb then. Oh, I mean, it doesn't matter. Take down takes me out anyway, but it's fine, it's fine. Down. That sucks, but can probably still take out Fur Frown. Nice. Good, good. Swap just get all this XP, man. It's nice. Uh, let's just keep flame wheeling, I think. I don't know what Goops, Goosebumps does, that's a pretty cool sound of move though. Yes, got the poison, let's go. Let the poison tick you down. It's still not 2v1 yet, which is great. Hypnosis, ah, oh, it sucks. Come on, come on. So close. I can just hit the Haunter. Never mind. Uh, 
Uh, what can take you out? I'm going to hack them all because I want to go for... Oh, wow, Christ hits both of them. Nice. Actually pretty good. Oh, Hypnosis, come on. Is the Passimian shoot taken out for the poison? As the Brink saves it? I think the Brink's going to save it, isn't it? No, it didn't. Sweet. That was kind of lucky. And a 2v1. Can I wake up, please? I don't know if it's going to matter. Hey, I wake up. Oh, also attacks you. Sorry. <laughs> People are responsible for your arrest, asshole. Been a while since I got to toss this much garbage into a cell at once. Now let's go. If only of you decide to reinforce me to get nasty in front of these civilians. Hey. Look, we appreciate you two stepping in. You could have been hurt. It's my duty to protect folks like you, not the other way around. Mister, I know you and the council mean well, but your pride will be our downfall. The war was won because people worked together. Were you just, uh, had we just stood back and watched? It would have been no better than the fogs that attacked you. <sighs> guess I can't argue with that. <laughs> I guess we owe you one, huh? So how about this? Any projects that need extra manpower in town? Me and the rest of the squad will be right there with you guys. Side by side. How's that sound? Sounds perfect, mister. Thanks for being so understanding. You guys are a real blessing to everyone in the province. Well, that was a valuable lesson for everyone involved, don't you think? Not to mention, I'd say we make a pretty great team. Oh, 100%. Oh, how do I know there was trouble here? Well, truthfully, I didn't. But I guess it just seems we can always find each other when trouble arises. Hey, maybe fate is trying to tell us something. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. In any case, we should probably head out. So I'll see you around, Jasmine. Hey. So can we... We still can't go around this area. Let's all get healed up. Because we desperately need to. Don't want to get into a fight. Don't want to get into a fight. So we still need to go to Calvera Cove and Polaris Point. Oh, she's in there now. She was in there for a second, then she went. Ah. <laughs> hey, Jasmine, have you gotten a chance to meet some of the families in the noble fields? The Farians, the Walshes, and the Dawsons. Always uh, some kind of drama they're getting into. But through thick and thin, they've all been together for ages. Hard to imagine people who put up with uh, you for that long. <laughs> it's pretty, it's, re it's really cool too. Hopefully that kind of love finds me someday. Okay, so she just randomly appears in the uh, Pokemon Center every now and then. Uh, sup. So the rail systems have been largely negle neglected for decades. There's more track throughout area than in all the other provinces combined. Or at least they used to be. There were rails that ran out into all the little towns and outcroppings around here. They're all buried in the dust by now. I mean, you figure out when new fancy trains and locomotive technology comes out, well, of course, the cities are the first places to get them. So the idea with Iria was it just wouldn't be cost-effective to update the endless miles of infrastructure, hence the old-timey-looking locomotives. The new ones around the rest of the province don't fit these old tracks the same way. And quite frankly, I don't see the need to update. People get so caught up with technology that they think it's always going to be better than what's re what it's replacing. Can you imagine Iria with fancy-looking new trains? You would feel right. I'm proud, to, I'm proud that Iria has its own character and distinctions from the rest of the region, and there ain't nothing wrong with that. Fair play. Alright, so what we got now? Oh, it's locked. And now it's sunny. So here's the farms. There's gotta be some like, ooh! Some business we can do here at the farms. Ideal world function as a second breeder, but currently our system for implementing this is bugged. This is a bummer for now, I'm sure this issue will be resolved, eventually. When that happens, you'll be able to breed Pokemon three times as quickly. That's pretty cool. Uh, anyone need any help? Talking about the bug system, can we fix the bug system? No, just come back later. Is that Rose again? Locked in a pen, but without proof of objective wrongdoing. My physical freedom had taken over a philosoph philosophical disagreement. But to take my physical freedom, one's own mental freedom must be sacrificed. Which cage is more real, I wonder? Oh, I want to find all, like, all of the, um, I guess, rows across the, um, this place if I can, the province. But can we get a Torchic? If I can capture a Torchic, I, I will. The one teeny bit of patch of grass I go through. 
Oh, we should probably get a Spoink. Um, having a Psychic type for the fighting gym would actually be kind of good as well. Just don't burn out Dragon Breath, get the Paralysis, or just nothing. It's fine. Nice. So we've got some decent Pokemon in the box we can always just train up. Oh, a Psychic Ground type, that's even better. Yeah, do some training, we can probably easily take on the Doom Leader once we're, you know, max level. Oh, it's a Gibble. Uh, aren't they gonna get hurt or worse? I don't know if I can go through with it. Hun, we've lost everything. This little bugger here is the only way to turn our fortunes round. Put you a few of them, sell them to that serpent gang in the city and bam! We live in like them with, um, their rist aristocrats. I suppose you're right. End of the day, they're just uh, Pokemon. Better than us, right? Still feels uh, like there's got to be another way around, though. I know, I know. But you can't up and look a gift ponytail in the mouth. Now yep, we just, uh, hey, you. You mean he's dropping? Give you to the count of three to turn tail and scram. Else I'll... Wait, Clyde. What if they run straight to the sheriff? I just realized it's Bonnie and Clyde, but, uh, come here, kid. We'll knock everything you heard right out of you. Uh, Bonnie and Clyde? Okay, so I lost this battle. Stupidly, if I didn't get flinched by a stupid Astonish, I won the battle. So this time, things are going to go a lot better. So, um, nothing to worry about. Well, I hope. I think it still goes kind of similar to how it did before, we'll see. Ow, we actually did quite a lot of damage. That bit of a thing, but it's fine. Got the burn, take it. Go for outcry if we can live. Can't live. It's all good, it's all good. That was one down. Unfortunately, you can't make a 2v1 either, which kind of sucks. Also, Pidgeotto learned a new move Razor Wind, which is different in this game. Oh, does it hit both Pokemon as well? No more like, oh, whipping up a whirlwind, go straight for the attack, which is nice. And also lowers their defense, which is going to be good for Flame Wheel. Have to take out the Dartrix unless you take out... Oh, you just lived! Ooh! That was lucky. That was very lucky. I'm going to take you out next. Oh, just live still. Defense down a bit more. American Outspeed Feeble. Ah, that sucks. We just got that flame wheel off. Super dead. Um, yeah, I can hit you with Shadow Punch, can't I? This won't be super effective, but with the defense down, down even down more now with this. Should easily finish you off. We just gotta deal with the carbink. Nice. Gonna get around. I wanna keep Sing for like a last ditch effort. Let's put your defense down a bit more. And hopefully, we can take you out. Mm. It's fine, we'll get some HP back, so it's all good. And scrub if we can. Yeah, definitely outspeed you because your speed's down. Water Pulse should do some damage. Or just about to finish you off. Can we uh, keep the Gibble now? You with your colourful hair and nice clothes. Do you know what it's like wondering where your next meal's coming from? Come on now, Clyde. Let's just uh, skedaddle to the Enclave. We found Gibble there before. Got, got to be able to do it again. Yeah, you're right, dear. Sooner the better. And you. Best believe them serpents are going to hear about you meddling in their business. So you better watch out. 
Hey. Right. Uh, oh, there's a grave here. What, a cemetery? Oh, Rose! They promised they would free me in the future. But then they realize I'm already free. They don't even understand me. They could be free too. But they chose their own chains. We all choose our own chains. Whatever they may be. Homeschooling is really hard, especially with my wife out of the country for work. This whole Mr. Mum thing is, I don't know. It just feels like there's uh, something I can't provide my daughter that my wife can. No matter how hard I try, just can't replicate it. It would be better if we made a little less money just so we could keep our family uh, unit more intact. I don't have an issue with that my wife makes more money than I do. In fact, I'd like to think I'm nothing but encouraging on the front. But is that right for the two of us? And even more importantly, is that ultimately the best life we can give our daughter? Hmm. Right, uh, so we're at the farms again. Uh, there's a Salazzle. It's like blocking the path. I want to try and fight that again. But I do want to do some grinding first. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Nah, I don't need to drink the drink. Oh! I guess we can speak to them in a second. Like, once our whole team's over 30, we'll be... Should be fine. If we can evolve the Swablu soon, that'd be cool. Mule, they can't just quit. Not every league commission will be in a city. I'm not cut out for this, Hannah. Everyone is so clicky here. It's hot and it smells like poo half the time. And that crappy room at the salon doesn't even have air conditioning. Mule, you, you took down Ari's silo in front of hundreds of people in the... Algol Arena? But you're gonna let some piddly farm labor stop you? Look, these people are Tealians too. They might even need our help even more than people in Starlight do. Hey, there's another challenger. Jasmine, right? They look like they've been carrying the rest of us through these uh, tasks. Don't you think so, Emil? I don't know. I mean, who cares, really? Yo, Jasmine. You prefer the countryside or the city? Honestly, countryside. Oh, how? It's miserable out here. Ah, it doesn't really prove anything. Look, whether you like it here or not, we can all agree that, our, that the more we help out, the faster we can all get to the challenge Demetrius and get our badge. So how about this? You both have two badges, right? So why don't you two battle? Jasmine wins, you have to see this commission through to the end, Emil. But if you win, Emil, how about this? Not only can you quit, but I'll even pay for your train ticket back to Starlight. Heh, <laughs> I'll take that bet any day. You're on, Jasmine. Oh, straight into a battle. I'm kinda glad I healed up. A Cagnia? <laughs> okay. Off to a great start. <laughs> nice. Coil. Ooh. Mm. I'm going to get rid of Poison Tail. The amount of times I've missed this move, it angers me. And I think Coil could be really good. I'm gonna say it now. I shouldn't go for that now. <laughs> oh, look at that. We're looking good. <laughs> uh, let's go Flame Wheel. Got the burn as well. This Chimera's actually insanely strong. Oh, Buck. Are oh, you going for Coil too? Huh. Alright, alright. I see you. And that burn just kind of wrecks you. Let's go for another Coil. Oh, okay. You want to go for Coil too? <laughs> well, this uh, definitely works pretty well for us. Well, going for Torment stops you going for another um, Coil, doesn't it? All good, all good. We got an orange berry, that's fine. We're gonna drag in the more, get some HP back if we can, unless we get flinched. No flinch. This stupid armor oh, just die. There you go. Hey, swap with 24. Right, well, we could probably stay in. You got a crit. Of course, you got a crit. Oh man, <laughs> this game sometimes hates me so hard. 
I guess Spellbunks is super effective. Nice! Very nice. Ice Punch, yes! Oh, I'm getting rid of Scare Tactics. 100%, nice! Those moves, that hair. You went to Antero's Academy too, didn't you, Jasmine? Dang, I knew it! Mr. Garrow's mentioned you one time? Now that I think about it. Hey, you know he's one of the League leaders now, right? Yeah, he's still technically headmaster there, but I guess it's a little more of a figurehead position now. Still, you should go visit him if you get the chance. Well, you seem a bit more clear-headed now, Emil. Ready to get back to work? Ugh, fine. Lost fair and square. But I guess I'm going to keep up with people like Jasmine and live up to my name. I need to work harder. And <sighs> I guess that means I can handle a hot, smelly farm or two. So get hungry, uh, Illyria. It's a meal time. <laughs> Alright, uh, since you're helping me out, I can share a little insider info with you if you like. It's in a handful of Starlight City's League leaders in action. If you want to know about them, ask right away. Okay. So there's a fairy leader. Her name you should recognize. She's a really popular musician in the region. And unlike fairy leaders from other regions, she's not some pop star or punk wannabe. Never seen a more talented pianist with a uh, voice so pure and clear to match it. Apparently being a, a league leader works out really well with her career. Then when she comes back with a new song or album, she goes on tour and uses that for battle and challenges. Those performances have really revitalized a lot of spirits back in the capital. It's seriously crazy how powerful mu music can be. Uh, okay. So Silas, Mr. Iron Biceps. Forget Origin or for the only reason we still have a Starlight City after the war is because of his family wealth and resources. So what types do you use? That's one of the types. Titan Industries, yeah those guys. Uh, Silas is always in magazines or hanging out with other celebrities and getting into goodness knows what. He's pretty handsome, got to admit. Who knows how he got the league spot? I guess he's a really talented battler at least. And what was the last one? Royal artist and sculptor for the King Device. She's the one who built the huge statues at the entrance of the city. Uh, what type? So we've got a fairy type, I'm guessing iron type, and then I don't know what she's gonna be. The big statues, maybe rock type? No idea. Right, I should probably get healed up. And I wanna get revenge on that Salazzle. Honestly. We're at the point though, I'm just gonna be running around like a headless chicken, so I don't know what I need to uh what I need to do at the moment. I wanna find Rose more as well. So I feel like it's gonna be one of them things where if you find Rose, you know, a certain amount of times then something's gonna happen, like the the game will change, the story will change. Okay, so I just lost again. I was gonna say I'm not gonna fight anymore, but it's now raining. So maybe it's a good idea to actually take it on now while it's raining. So we can maybe... Let's go Torment. That will stop me going for another nasty plot in a row. Good, Dragon's more. Oh, we just live with a little bit of HP. It's fine, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna try and perish song you. Oh, you got a crit? Are you kidding me? I just thought if you go for a fire move with a rain up, I could probably live, but you got a crit. That's so not cool. But with water pulse and the rain up, that's nice. And we've got the confusion, that's good. So we might just win. We just outspeed you, we win. Or you hurt yourself. I think we get one attack off with this actually, so we might be alright. Nope. Just one attack, please. Just one attack. Or just hurt yourself once, please. Oh, we just live. Just live. Although, do we take you out? Nice. Oh man, that was... That was close. So now we can get in here. Got the Grumpigs. Oh, there's an item over there. Can I capture Grumpig? Ooh. So I can't battle him or anything, but I can talk to him and get something. Or just one of them gives me a pearl. 
Oh, two pearls. That was kind of worth it. Right, I need to go and heal up. 100%. I need to find out what to do. That Salazar was just ins insanely annoying. I guess I've already talked to those people, actually. They might have some stuff for us. Oh, you weren't there before, were you? Don't think so. Oh, we've got a lot to do, actually. We've been going around for a while. Oh, he's now not there. Okay. Can I make him spawn? That's odd. So people keep coming and going depending on the, um... I don't know, depending on what, actually. Uh, yo. So we're rolling Acres Pokemon Breeders. Do you have some people like to breed? I don't. Okay, so the breeders. Um... Don't have access. I haven't done much help, to be honest, but I can't find people to help. Some nights I see glowing lights outside my window. I told Demetrius that Wulu were being lifted into the skies. Right hand to God. You just told me to keep away from the Calvera mushrooms. You believe me, don't you? If you check out back at night, I can guarantee you'll find some strange stuff out there. Ooh, okay. Sounds interesting. Um, so if it's night time, we go out and we see something taking the Wulu. So everyone's either greedy to protect what they do have or just desperate to try and have everything at all. Scary. Demetrius is keeping the peace and all, but I don't know. He's just not really a peaceful man, if that makes sense. That's why we need someone like Mr. Morris. Right, so let me um, save the game. I think this game has like, it runs off the PC clock, right? So if I adjust the date and time. All right, so now should be night time. Uh, do we see anything going on? Oh, there. Hey, is that Behemoth or is that a Fakemon? Oh, I've got to be sneaky. Okay. What? Ah. Oh. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Alright, I can do this. Got this, got this. Up, left. Up, left, up, left, up. Oh, there's rocks in the way, we're fine. Nice. Okay, we good, we good. Oh, at least we're dead end, but that one goes so fast. So I need to go back this way, or oh, does matter. If I go down, not right. So I wanna go left. No, oh dude, I thought I had a, a gap to go through there. So I can go cross. Left, down, left, down, left. Left, down, left, down, left, down, left, down. Aha. Uh oh. Uh, how do I do something? I'm going to save it. I can just soft reset if I mess up. Oh, getting through here is going to be a pain in the butt. I don't know how far we got. I've got one space to try and... Right, I see I see how to do it. This is going to be... Uh, full. No, I tried going left. Okay, I see how to do it. It is um, going to be kind of stressful. But actually, if I use... Caffeine. Oh, dude, I want I want the item as well. All right, come on, come on, we got this. We wait, we wait, we wait. Go, go, go. I'm gonna do something kind of cheesy. I thought the aliens would still go. 
can't see him. Should I just go for it? I'm gonna go for it. Oh, I was kind of lucky. Right, save it. No, okay, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> soft reset. Oh, soft reset, I feel like it's cheating a little bit, but at the same time, it has to be done. No, oh, dude, come on. Do you think it actually got that little bit? All right, so I need to go like here. Oh, wait, do they keep? Now he keeps going like a little square and you go for a longer one. So what I want to do is that. Now you don't look Ah, <laughs> I was going to say, you don't look down, but I can maybe get across, but I think this is going to be tough now. I need to go. No, it's so just quick. I don't want to go all back to the start. I think I got myself into a little pickle in this little area. Right. So let's get back here. This is a good spot. And then what we're going to do is once the outer one goes past me, I need to wait for the little one to go across. It's going to be it's kind of hard timing. Hoo hoo hoo! Yes! Got there in the end though. All right. Now we try and do this. You don't go across. No! I tried to go across as soon. I'm not sure if I have to go like round it all the way or just across across. So I can get like here. I need to wait. Oh, it's just for an item. <laughs> I want to make it for the end because I wonder what we have at the end. It's got to be like something cool, right? Wait, can't stand there. Can I stand there? I could probably could stand there. No, I can't. No, I, did, I thought he was going to keep going up. <laughs> A lot of stuff resetting, I know, but it has to be done. Uh, no! I panicked because I thought it was going to go up. I'm not sure if I need to go up now or right. I think I saw a dead end right. Oh, this is going to be stressful. No, no, I can go right. There's a little gap. I think, actually, if I just get into that corner... Never mind. I was going to say, you can't see me in that corner, but you can. Right, I'm going to try one more time. If I fail, I'm going to cut to when I do it. Because otherwise we'll be here. Okay, I'll cut to when I do it. I'm going to be here for a while. Okay, managed to do it. Oh my goodness, that took quite a while. Go there in the end. Please no more. Or lead to something really cool. Oh my god, there's more. So I need to go. No, he turned around. Are you kidding me? This is hard, dude. This is so hard. <laughs> Okay, oh, you can just be on the inside of it or like next to him and they can't see you. Oh, that was so close. Oh my god, there's more. <laughs> this is so difficult. I hate this. On the bright side though, you can't do much. So I need to go 
Ugh, bad timing. I need to go up then right, I think. Ooh. Is there someone up there? There's one person there. Okay, I think that's who we got to probably get to. I'm hoping I can probably just run this now. Ooh, okay. Oh my goodness. Please no more. Oh, cool. Yo, what's up? Attention Earth creature, this planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. Probably switch this green back over to this side so it's easier to see. Uh, at this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? A uh, little, yeah. Earth creature, I am addressing you. Spawn or be vaporized. Don't care how many stomachs you have. Don't have time for this. Ooh, charge beam. Sweet. You look a little, what's the word? Constipated. Well, see you in 10 years. You like the future. All that for a charge beam, I'm gonna say. I feel like that wasn't worth it. Can we get this one? Oh, E.T. go home. Okay, I'll, I'll take that as well. I'll, I'll take that. That's that's not bad. Okay, got... Um, how do you even pronounce it? Like, L, I think someone said before, like, L-Yem? Or some of that. Whatever it's called. We got it. I think that was worth it in the end. And Charge Beam could come real helpful. Oh my goodness. Well, I think it's probably a great time to end this episode off. We did a lot today. Did a lot. And for next episode, we'll find out... Um, what more things we can do. We need to go to uh, Calvera Cove and then the Polaris Point, see if we can find Lavi Tower as well. There's a lot to do. <laughs> I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.